Hey everyone, it's Relic here, and we are back on the FTOG Qantas server. So, you remember in the last episode then, that we got ourselves some flights, so we got our angel ring just here. And yeah, I've been playing around with this a little bit. It works really, really well with the air sigil. Now, I have been getting a bit of rubber banding, so I'm not sure how successful this will be, but if we just sort of fly around, this is us just flying normally. And we can use the air sigil with this to give us kind of super speed. Now, there's quite a lot going on in this area, so this is probably why we're getting this sort of bounce back. But it does work really, really well, especially when we was over in the mining dimension earlier. And it enabled us to get quite good distances uh, quite quickly. So yeah, really pleased with that. And the only other thing I've just noticed, I, I should have corrected a while ago is I no longer require slime boots on and the reason is because once you've got the angel ring you can't take any fall damage whatsoever so I haven't got any diamond boots at the moment I thought I did I need to have a look around for those but for now we'll just sit those on they'll offer us more protection than the slime boots and we can pop those back in there but yeah, I did think I had some more somewhere, but seemingly not. But for now, anyway, so we've got we've got some different boots on. And so that'll offer us a little bit more protection. So, we've got flight. And the other thing I said I wanted to do was set up this quantum quarry. And that is what we're going to concentrate on today. Now, I've been collecting up a few of the bits and pieces just to try to make this a more a smoother process. So what you need is one of these, the actual quantum quarry itself, and then also six of these quantum quarry actuators. And I have been busy collecting up the diamonds that I need for the diamond pickaxes. And that's probably the bit that's taken the longest. So hopefully I've got 18 diamonds. I thought I did, yes, I have. So we will grab those and we need to grab some sticks which are in one of these chests somewhere and yeah there we go there's some sticks just there and let's find a crafting table i'm standing right next to it and just wait for that just to recognize that i've clicked on it so we'll put the sticks in there and then yeah so that's the six that we need so we'll grab those out and then we should be able to, so we've got some end stone, ah, some burnt, stone burnt, need that as well. Let's go and grab that. And hopefully there's still some left in here, which there is, excellent. And then we need, need to put something away because seemingly my inventory was full. It wasn't, let me pick up those sticks. That's fine, it's done it now. So these are all the bits that I've gathered anyway. We'll come to the end of pearls in a minute. So we're going to need some of that. And I do believe we are going to need a bunch of those as well. Because we're going to need to make ourselves some end rods. So we probably didn't need quite as many as I've picked up. But we will make a bunch of those anyway. So I thought that was how we... Was that how we make it? Ah, uh, they need to be popped chorus fruits, so they need to be thrown into a furnace. So let's just quickly throw those in there. We'll grab that out. And let's just throw... We actually only need about eight of those. And yeah, so we'll let those do their thing. And then let's, while that's doing that, let's have a look at this piece. So again, we need some stone burn and we need another star, which... No, I've got in one of these chests somewhere there. But there it was. Cool. Nether start done. And we've got to say we've got some end stone, so we should just be able to throw that together like so. Cool. So there is the first bit, and now we are just waiting, literally on those. So let's just grab those, just to make a little bit of a start, and. Put three of those in there the three popped fruit in fact that goes on top and that actually is enough that's all we need 
So now we should be able to make our six of those, but of course we can't just at the moment because you can only do one at a time. Right, that's fine. So let's go ahead and do the rest of those manually. It's because it's got a pick in it that you can only do the one at a time. So you got that in the middle. We'll put our end rods in there and we'll put the rest of our stone burnt in and then we can just replace that with the picks as we need it. And they do stack, so that's good. So that's that. And five, and then the last one, six. Cool, right, so we can now go and set that up. Now, I'm thinking to myself, where do I want this set up? And it doesn't really matter where we set it up because it will, it creates another dimension. So it doesn't dig any holes or anything. I'm thinking I'll probably put it down here for now. I know I seem to be putting quite a lot of stuff down here, but it just seems like a sensible place to put it. We can always move it later on. But I'm thinking to myself, probably over here for now in this corner. I do want to continue with the immersive engineering stuff at some point, because I want to make the diesel generator. But just purely because I don't think we're going to need it for power now that we're sort of starting to move forward in the ages, but just purely because I've never made one before. So, in order to make this, we're going to put a piece of stone down first, and we'll put it here, just so that we've got something to put the quarry on top of, like so. And then we can get rid of this piece of stone, and this needs to go on all the sides. So, one, two, three, four, one on the top and then one on the bottom I'm just going to have to dig down in, <laughs> not quite that far in order to be able to do this so two, there we go so we can jump down here and put our last piece in just here and this should now activate good it does right so we've got some options in here we've got the filter and I believe that you can blacklist with this as well and we're probably going to need to, otherwise we're just going to grab ourselves up an absolute ton of cobble and that kind of stuff. And we can put enchanted books in here, so we can put a fortune book in here. And I've not used the biome marker before. I'm not really sure how that works, but yeah, I'll definitely have a look at that. Probably in between episodes, try to work out how that works. So this thing is going to need some power. And it does use an absolute ton of power. Now, I've got a plan for this. So if we go back upstairs again, I'm going to use a generator that I've not used before, but I believe it outputs quite a lot of power. And it is, I think it's just called the Ender Generator. It's from Extra Utilities too. Let's just sleep really quickly. So if we just jump in here, get rid of all of this in here and then just type in generator and it should be great yeah go enter generator so we need a furnace generator a load of ender pearls which we've got some obsidian and some redstone and the furnace generator requires this with a machine block which requires some redstone in the chest so let's go and grab some of those bits now and now i've definitely got some iron over here let's just grab five blocks of that and hopefully we have also got some wood somewhere now i think that's probably going to be i'm hoping is going to be in one of these bags and if not, easy enough to find, I'm sure. I've got some more diamonds there, so even if we hadn't have had enough, obviously gathered up more than I thought that I did. And there's none there, but there is some redstone in there, so we'll grab that out while we are there. And hopefully got some wood down here. If not, so we're going to get some rope. So we need some obsidian. Let's just grab that out. Can I grab the obsidian? There we 
we go. Um, we'll grab a, a stack of that for now. In fact, no, we won't. We will just grab half a stack of that. Cool. So that should be everything for now. And if we just pop that in there, turn that into wood, turn that into a chest. So it's a chest in the middle, one of those in each corner. And then I need to come back out again because I need to turn some of that into ingots. And then ingot, 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 and ingot. No, was it the other way around? I always do this. There we go, right, so we're going to get four machine blocks for that. And let's just clear some space, let's just get rid of a load of this that we don't need for now. We don't need that either. Cool, right, so we have got the machine blocks. We need normal furnace, and I know that I'm definitely going to have some cobble because of all the mining that we did. So let's make ourselves normal furnace and then we should fingers crossed be able to get the furnace generated together and then we just need to grab some ender pearls to make this generator so let's go in throw that in there and cool there's that ender generator now here is the moment of truth of whether or not this is actually going to create enough power if not, I guess we just go ahead and for now we could probably make some more of them because we've got access to pretty much unlimited ender pearls with the farm in the end. So we'll pop that just there like so. And then if we just pop some ender pearls in there for now. And cool, that is beginning to fill up with power pretty rapidly but that will as soon as I attach a chest to that that's going to end empty really really quickly so we definitely are going to need a filter as well so let's go ahead and grab one of those and a chest and it's right about now that I'm kind of wishing that I wasn't quite as spread out so it didn't take quite as long running about right so we'll make ourselves a chest and then we'll turn that into an iron chest just so that we've got a little bit more room. Okay, and yeah, that'll be enough for now. Grab the chest, pop those around there. And didn't seem to want to go around there. Cool, so that is our iron chest. In fact, you know what? Let's make two of those just so that we've got a little bit of a buffer for this because I'm not sure how fast this is going to grab resources, but we've got two of those now. And let's have a look at the filter. That shouldn't be too, too difficult to make. And yeah, it's gonna be one of these. So it's gonna be that one. So we want some sticks, a bit of string and some redstone, which we've all got. He says, looking for some string, which I thought we had. And maybe we've got some, yeah, we've got some of that in there. So we made some string, good. That would be the worst thing to be held up from at this point during the game. Right, so there's a bit of string. And now we should be able to throw a filter together. And we just want to make sure that we've got a few of these bits and pieces. So we want to grab sand. I think we don't want to grab any more hardened stone and I want a piece of dirt which I'm going to presume I've got in one of these bags I have good right, so we've got that and probably because we seem to have quite a lot of it as well probably some basalt good right so let's head back down to our quarry and the other thing, yeah, I've got the stuff to make a lever just so that we can turn this on and off because we certainly don't want this running while we're not online because I'm not sure what kind of lag this would actually create. So let's grab the filter and in fact, 
we right click this in the air good so we want to blacklist cobblestone sand dirt and this hardened stone and of course the basalt as well and if there's anything else that we need to blacklist as we go forward obviously we can do that so pop that in there cool and it's telling us what we are in so it's only mined one block so far is it really that oh no it's because it hasn't got an inventory there so it'll only retain one block in its memory so we'll pop that there and we'll pop that there and hopefully yeah that is enough there Is that really? I don't know why I put dirt in there because I thought that we just filtered that. Oh yeah, there's nothing else coming out now. And this does use a lot of power as well. But it is filling back up again and this isn't going through ender pearls too quickly. Probably be a good idea actually to put a hopper on top of that. So let's go and do that now. Okay, so I've grabbed myself one hopper, but I actually needed more because what I've gone and done is I have made some more of these furnaces and I'm hoping that this will now work up to speed. So if we pop ender pearls in all of those, they're pretty cheap to make actually. I mean, obviously the most expensive thing is the access to ender pearls. Let's just have a quick look and see. Is that now? Yeah, that is now beginning to fill up with energy a little bit faster. This is obviously more efficient now if we had a, a power cell, which I don't know if we've got access to that. Then we could transfer power about, which would be a little bit better. Ah, we have got access now. Cool, I think we should potentially do a setup with that actually, so we can have a bank of these ender, these ender generators running into a power cell and then transferring the power just from a power cell to this. It will just make it a little bit cleaner. But this is starting to gather up some resources now and I can see we're grabbing some marble, some limestone, some clay, which it's handy, but we probably don't want it too much. We've got some tin ore as well. And obviously we could just put the... This doesn't seem to actually go through ender pearls that fast, but we can put the hopper on top. But I think I'd quite like to make the power cell. So let's go and... Let's go and throw a couple of those together. And then we can have a little area where we're generating our power and we can just link into that. So let's see, I am gonna need a whole bunch of redstone. So we've got some there. Just wondering whether or not that'll be enough. So that's four pieces. So we need that, we need the diamond, we need prismarine shards and emeralds. Right. Give me two seconds and I'm going to go and get all those bits and pieces together and I'll be back. Okay, and a few minutes later and hopefully we've got everything we need. So, yeah, the prismary shards, I had to head on over to the Guardian farm. Now, I will show that at some point in time, but it's pretty cool. It was something, it was a project that Grok and I think Mistaken worked on. But yeah, the output is amazing. So let's pop that in there. We're going to want to grab some of those. Now hopefully, maybe we need to put one of these machine frames together. So we need some more iron, which I thought I had, but I haven't. And what else was that that required? Some lapis, which I've got. So yeah, we need to go and grab some more iron. Luckily, there's no danger of us, I don't think, ever running out of iron. <laughs> we have got so much of it, it is insane. Let's just grab a load of that 
turn that into ingots. Uh, in fact, that was way, way, way too many. So let's pop a few of those back for now and pop that at the back as well. Cool. Right, so a bit of messing about later. And I think we've got everything that we need now. Fingers crossed we have. Right, so we need one. We need two of those, obviously. So there's two machine frames and the diamonds. Yes, diamonds. Where did I put those? We need two diamonds. Fast running out. I'm so glad. I hope the quantum quarry actually picks up diamonds because that will be quite that'll be quite upsetting if it didn't after all this because that is principally what I'm always short of so we've got the two power cells cool and we need two of these cards as well so let's grab one and what are we missing for the second one some more of those and let's grab ourselves the second card. And now we just need to find somewhere to actually set this up. And I'm thinking to my, that was just a bit weird then. I'm thinking to myself, we probably for now, we can set it up in the same place, but I do want to get a, a separate power area. That is for sure, because otherwise absolutely everything will end up down here. I'll probably do that in between episodes. So, where can we put it for now? We want to probably put it here. So let's go and grab up. Now I'm hoping these don't break when you pick them up. Or I shall not be happy. Let's grab that. Yeah, good. You can just grab them. Cool. Right, so that's those. And now hopefully... We can just pop them down. One. And we're going to have this in the middle, aren't I? So one, two, three, and four. And then we'll have the power cell in the middle, like that. And then we're going to want, just want to make sure this works before we put anything further into it so there's one in there one in there yeah let's get some power it's not getting any power yet because I haven't specified for it to pick up power from all sides like so and then yeah accept power from all sides so that's now getting all the power from those and obviously we could put one on top as well but we want to be able to access that so there is our link card. Now I can't remember how to how to actually link this. So there's the card. And then we put the link card in here. Right, link ID 13. Good. And then we can go and pop this. I guess we'll put it there for now on the bottom. And we want that out on all sides. And the link card in there and I've just cleared the link card so now I'm glad that I put it nearby so let's put that back in there that's link ID 13 and we'll put it in the right place this time installed and now that is now filling it with power good we are going to definitely need to have more power than this so either more of these or I'm guessing we could do more of them or we're going to need to have a better generator. But that's working away. It's getting a, it's getting some ores and I'll probably leave this running for a while. But we do want to make sure actually that we can turn this off if we need to. So there's our lever and I guess you can just pop this anywhere. Always on, redstone on. So that is now presumably off. And then if we flick that down. And it 
is still off. Redstone off. Always on. Why is this not? Is it just stabilized to that? Or is it crashed? I don't know what's going on there. Why that's not doing what it needs to do. Redstone on. It's just, oh, I know why. Because this is now, these have now run out of power. So we're going to have to, we are going to have to do something about that. I can't believe that I uh, thought that had crashed then. <laughs> right, so that is now getting some power. This should now be filling up with power, which it is. It shouldn't be running, so it should carry on. It should be running. And that's off. Why is, why is that still running? Redstone off. Redstone on. Please say it's off now. It is right. Good. So that is now for the power. And then if we flick the lever down. Good. Okay. So let's let that fill up for a while. And just see whether or not that makes any, any difference. If it's full. I just want to see how quickly it burns through a full lot of power. And in the meantime. I'm just going to cut out for a minute. And I'm going to get this set up. So that it's automatically feeding with ender pearls. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay. So... A couple of minutes later, and I've actually gone ahead, rather than doing hoppers, I've gone ahead because we've got access, obviously, to the transfer nodes and the transfer pipe now. It's really easy to make. You just need some slabs, some glass, and some redstone for the pipe. And then for the actual node itself, you just need a chest, one of the bits of pipe, some redstone, and some more stone. And hopefully what we can do is just hop that there for now we'll get it so it's central we'll put a chest above here like so and then we can get rid of this piece of wood from the middle using the wrong tool of course <laughs> and pop a transfer node on the bottom of there and then what we are gonna need to do is grab our pipe and pop that down first of all like that one piece there, a piece there, a piece there, and a piece there. And I'm not going to be able to see if all of these are working because one of them's facing away from me. But if we now pop a load of these in here, hopefully we can see these all starting to work. And that'll be because it's put 16 in here. Okay, there we go. It was just a bit slow at filling up. Why? Oh, why? Why are you? Oh, yeah, okay. There was just a bit of a delay. Cool. So that will now just gradually fill up. And in fact, I've got some more ender pearls in here. So we might as well just put all of them in just so that we know that that's running. This will then completely fill up with power, which it has. Good. So let's flick that on and let's just see how quickly. It uses the power almost instantaneously, that was. So this does use an absolute ton of power. So we're going to have to leave this running for a while. And we are definitely going to need a better source of power going forward. And I don't think the solar array, I don't think that's even open to us yet. I don't, I'm not sure what age that comes in at either, but yeah. These are not open, but this this is going to be our best bet, the environmental tech solar array, because that will create an absolute ton of power. But cool, yeah, pretty happy with that. As I say, I'm going to leave that running for a while, and hopefully, fingers crossed, that will get us some pretty good stuff, including some diamonds. As I say, I'll, I'll leave it running, and we'll see. But that is going to be it for the episode, and I hope you found that enjoyable. Hope you've liked it. If you have, remember to smash that like button. Always appreciated. And until next time, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.